welcome to java forum today we are going to see how to install much awaited release red hat enterprise linux 9 on virtualbox 6.1 with guest editions so uh, first up is i am creating one new red hat enterprise linux 9 virtual machine with 8 gb ram and i am going to allocate around uh, 40 gb of uh, dynamically allocated hard disk so i'm creating 40 gb of size so i created red hat enterprise 9 uh, linux 9 uh, virtual machine now so now i am going to settings system so under motherboard i am removing the floppy so optical drive will be the uh, first uh, boot and make sure uh, usb tablet is checked and cpu i am allocating four core processor so storage i am selecting uh, red dot enterprise linux 9 iso file which is which i have already downloaded from uh, uh, Red Hat website. So you need to register with the Red Hat uh, in order to download this ISO file. So now I am going to point this ISO file. So uh, everything I am leaving as it is. So network, uh, uh, you can change uh, as per your needs. So I am going to change uh, with host only adapter, which means uh, I am not going to connect to internet. So this is uh, fully a local install. Okay, now uh, everything is ready. Let us start Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 virtual machine. So Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 virtual machine has more features than Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8. So it's uh, mainly divided, uh, designed for uh, cloud. Uh, so okay, so we can see that the installation screen has arrived. So English will be the default language. Uh, click the continue button. So in installation summary page, so you can uh, select the installation destination. So 40 GB or this, that is the installation destination. Uh, Software selection is server with guy. So now I am providing the password, root password. So I am giving a uh, very uh, weak password because due to my due to my convenience, I am giving a uh, weak password here. So when you use in production or live, please provide a strong password. So I'm also creating one login user. So it's done. Time and date, select as per your uh, time zone. So everything is fine. Software selection is server with guy. So click the begin insertion button. So insertion in progress now. Yes, so installation is completed. So uh, click the reboot system button so that uh, RHCL 9 will be rebooted. So you can see that Red Hat Enterprise Linux comes with the kernel 5.14.
okay so you can see the desktop screen at arrived so first go to the show applications click the settings in order to adjust the screen resolution so left you can see the lot of settings will be there so click the displays so adjust the screen resolution as per your need so this is my screen resolution so i am playing this uh, so click the keep changes button so now next step is we are going to install uh, some rpm files uh, required for uh, virtual box guest edition so once again i am selecting the red dot enterprise linux 9 uh, dvd file iso file so you can see that uh, the dvd will be mounted here so you can see the dvd is mounted So you can see that uh, app stream base OS uh, two folders are there. So inside that two folders, all the RPM necessary for VirtualBox guest editions will be available. So no need to go to internet. All the RPMs uh, required by guest editions are downloaded. Sorry, uh, copied from this DVD. So these are the RPMs. I think uh, 13 RPMs uh, needed by virtual box case edition so these are the rpms i have provided the list in description of the video now i am going to mount the guest edition virtual box guest edition cd image so one important note is uh, please update your virtual box so this is virtual box 6.1.36 so 6.1.36 has a fix for uh, red hat enterprise linux 9 series so that uh, guest editions will be working efficiently. Okay. So I am copying the installation files of guest edition to separate folder because I am facing some issues when it is directly uh, uh, running. So first I am going to install the uh, virtual box uh, dependencies. So these are the dependent files, uh, around 13 packages are there. So I am opening the terminal, uh, switch as a root user. Only root user can install the RPM files. Make sure you switch as a root user. So I am going to install all these packages in single shot. So this is a command. Yes, so this is the command we are going to uh, insert single shot. I am installing all the RPM files. Okay, you can see all the RPMs are uh, getting installed. So once again, I am repeating. Uh, please update your virtual box. So this is the virtual box 6.1.36, which has the fix for. Uh, Red Dot Enterprise Linux 9's uh, kernel, kernel, kernel support. Okay, so RPMs for uh, VirtualBox uh, guest editions are uh, installed. So these are the dependent RPMs. Now let us uh, install guest editions now. So I am going to the directory where I copied the VirtualBox guest edition installation files. So first I am giving the permission to all the files. Now I am going to install the VirtualBox guest edition. So this is the command dot slash vbox linux guest editions dot run. Make sure that you are running as a root user. Only root user can install the guest editions. Yes, so VirtualBox guest edition is successfully installed. So I didn't see any error messages. So uh, now what I'm doing, I am going to power off this virtual machine. So now go to VirtualBox settings go to virtual box uh, red hat enterprise next nine virtual machine settings in general advanced in general advanced select the uh, shared uh, clipboard as bi-directional and drag and drop also bi-directional 
So optical drive, I am moving to second in boot order. So hard disk will be the first device in order to boot from hard disk. So now I am restarting the Red Dot Enterprise in X9 virtual mission to check uh, virtual box guest station is successful or not. So first thing, uh, once you log in, uh, when you switch to full screen, so a uh, virtual machine automatically adjusts to the full screen. That is a symbol of uh, good sign of uh, virtual box guest edition is uh, installed successfully. I can see that the screen resolution is adjusted automatically. So uh, let us go to application. So these are the utilities available by default. So you can install any uh, utilities or packages or applications, whatever you need it. So um, these are the default applications, very simple applications only are there. Uh, disk analyzer, monitor. On calculator is there. So this is system monitor. Now let me open the terminal. I am checking what are the programming languages are available by, by default. So Java is not there by default. Python 3 is available by default. And Perl, yeah, Perl 5 is available by default. 5.32.1 I think. So these are the programming languages uh, available by default. Also, uh, C and C++ also is upgraded in uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. So now I'm going to check whether uh, shared clipboard is working or not. So I am copying the output in terminal. I'm going to paste the output in Windows host. Windows host, I open the notepad, paste it. Yes, so shared clipboard is working fine. Now once again I am typing here some words in uh, notepad in Windows host. Copying this line, I am going to paste in Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 virtual machine. Yes, so shared clipboard is working fine. So Red Hat Enterprise, uh, Enterprise Linux 9.0 installation on VirtualBox 6.1 is successful.